Well, hello. I am putting holes in my brand new kayak. <laughs> I've got propelled paddle gear, red and green. Red for the left, green for the right. I want to be as legal as possible. I want to be as safe as possible. We're going to follow the rules. Red on the green, uh, red on the left, green on the right. That's the rule. That's the safest way to go. I've got two of these packs. We're going to have two on the front, two on the back. I've also got a two pack of Yak Power lights. I'm just waiting for the guy to drop off. I'm going to get those installed as well. I'll do those last. Probably won't show you those until the grand reveal. Kind of want to keep those quiet so we can see how those look like. I'm super curious about them. How am I wiring all this stuff? Really easy, man. The Yak Power kit. I got the wireless because, dude, I'm okay putting, you know, up to an inch hole in my boat. I'm not okay with the two inch hole in my boat. Uh, this gives me the wireless remote. It syncs with your phone, so I'll be able to use my phone. I'll be able to use the remote. Uh, not put that two inch hole in there, and it'll mount right to my, right to my Scotty rails. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get like another head for my camera over here and actually just have it branch off and hang out. I think I can get like a, a three prong to go over there. Um, I'm going to get started. I'm probably going to have to run and get some supplies. I need to figure out how I'm going to mount my battery and this switch into the middle where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to strip some of this down, get going. You know what, man? I should do like a little unboxing thing of it real fast, right? I'm going to unbox it the manly way. We grab and we pull. We don't read that shit on the back. You don't need that. Uh, all right. So we got some SAE cables. This is what we're going to use pretty much for everything power related. I, I don't know how many tubes I have, and I don't know if I have the 14 AWG gauge. Uh, if I don't, I'm going to have to run down to Harbor Freight and pick up some 14 AWD, AWG gauge tube connectors. This is like a steering wheel connector. I see like the image uses like a dot golf cart or something on it, like a boat, I guess you could do it too. Um, I don't have that, so I don't have anything cool to rig that on. So it's just going to kind of go in this crap with a cool little screwdriver. Oh, there's meat and potatoes, right? That's the box. So. All right. We have the little GoPro mount. Man, that's cheap as hell. I'm not using that. Uh, <laughs> that's supposed to have a boat to go on it. Um, I saw that with the track mount. If that doesn't have a track mount, that's false advertisement. Y'all dirty for that. Yeah, they're, they're kind of dirty for the... Oh, 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 that's dirty. Um, it's just a screw you feed down in there, and that feeds in the track mount. I may not use it that way. I'm going to get something better than that, but that's okay, right? No, that's not really okay. That's super disappointing, man. That's all right, though. There's the actual remote that's gonna go into this piece of shit. There's the actual remote that's gonna go into it. Again, wireless, I just need to, need to play with it. I get it all set up. All right, and then we actually have our relay switch. This end with the fuse is what's gonna run to our battery SAE connector. So we're gonna take one of these guys here. I thought it came with one just for that. Yes, that is, isn't it? You gotta use a lot of those. I'm glad they send you a few of them, man, because you need a bunch of these. Uh, they send you five, you probably need six. <laughs> so you'll run this connector, that'll go to your battery and you'll terminate onto there. So I know I'm gonna need one. Let's go ahead and lay this out in my mind logically to make sure I get everything set up where I want. See how those SAE connectors just snap together? That's pretty common on boats and cars, right? I've never used them a lot, so it's cool to me. But let's check our fuse. Make sure I don't have to pick any of those up. I'm not grab one anyway while I'm out just to have one on the deck. Okay, it's just a standard fuse. It's not like a tube. It's a 15 amp. So, amp, 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 what, amp? I don't know. Either way, you get it. All right, then the relay switch. I'm going to bolt that down to the cutting board. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll probably just drill holes in it, and I'll probably just use a couple of zip ties to hold it down, and then I'm going to mount pull noodles on the bottom of the cutting board that's going to go in there. So if it does by chance take on more water than, than is appropriate, it'll float up a little bit and not, not fell over. And that's also where the battery is going to sit at. So this will sit on the cutting board with the battery. And this, this connector piece here is going to run right over to it. The terminated professional quality. And that'll be around when terminated too. All right. That's it, guys. Um, I'm ready to start checking stuff out. See, I don't like how hard that sounds back there. I don't know what's there. I'm sure it's just where it's coming to a point. I think I am going to put my light up in front of the PDL. Come up. 
and I'm gonna do that on the other side, and then I'm gonna measure where he's gonna go here, and I'm gonna go the same on the other side. So I'm gonna take the other off. I think I want it at 14 inches. That puts me about an inch in front of where it says PDL 106. Roughly, guys, if I'm off by just a hair, I don't care. That's a green. So green goes on the right. We've got that right. We're gonna leave the other one in the package so we don't mess around and mix them up. Hold them pretty tight. That's even with the blue tape. And we'll mash that a little. This side here is gonna be harder to see, but I see them both. So I want not to drill where this hole is, but just the side of it a little bit. I want this cable to feed down in there. I mean, about a drill bit's length. Can you see that? You could fit about another drill bit, maybe, a, maybe another half in there. I'm gonna try and line up pretty good with them, and then I'm gonna pause. I didn't check to see what all's in there. There are cables up there, but those cables, they shouldn't get in my way. About a length and a half of the bit. No need to go fast, we're not impatient. We're in. Nice and slow, did you see that? Here's gonna be the trick. We gotta get both of these guys in at the same time. We're gonna put a little dab of marine sealant just around that. And I mean just the dab. I'm just gonna smear it in that hole a little. All right. Not too tight. Just gonna snip this guy on down too. Okay. Now, if I ever want to take it out, I just pull that up, and then I have this Velcro keeping my wires semi in place. So we have our hole. I'm gonna send him back at an angle and feed him into this open spot, and then wedge him in between these foam blocks. We'll have to put down the Velcro when he's coming in. Let's see. Item nine five eight zero seven. All right, let's go. All right, so we've got him in there. We're gonna drag him to the middle, push him down. I just need to put some Velcro on the bottom and on him. over to the middle. Oh my God, man. It's like it was made for that, you know? That's amazing. player but I'm gonna clean up these wires you know tie them up pull them tight do what I need to do to make it look nice and then we're plugging in everything
be. We don't need all of them exposed right now. Stuff that guy to the side. We're gonna put these guys over to this one. They're not there. These guys over this side. We're just gonna tuck a little, right? That's what our battery box is gonna look like in there. All right. All right, there it is. The only thing left for us to do is to get this guy out in the water and see what it looks like. 